What time is it my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time and today we're going to be doing the Insta Sparkle tutorial. All right, so let's start and begin. So I'm gonna get my palette set up here and what we're going to do is we're going to open the libraries, create a new library. And we're basically gonna drag and drop our photos in here to make it very simple and easy. But first I just wanna show you the cover photo of the Insta Sparkle. It looks really nice, really nice. Yes, and so these are the photos. I've got like a combination of some black and white and some pink photos. Um, to give it sort of like a pink and black monochromatic feel, yes. And these are some of the the styles that I've created with this kit, the Insta, you know, the Insta Sparkle Cat. Basically what it is, it's a PSD. So you basically drag and drop your photos in there and then you just paint. It's so simple, it's so easy. Even a caveman could do it, anyone could do it. So I created those um, different little art effects, the little photo effects, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to start by dragging a photo out onto the canvas here. And you just press Control T um, to get, you know, it into motion. And then we're going to rasterize that. Okay. And going back over here, we are going to go on that layer that says paint me we're going to get our tools here and then we are going to start painting we're going to paint on her glasses we're going to paint some sparkly goodness on those beautiful glasses yes she is a movie star now and i can go ahead and fast forward this or just leave it like so yeah so just sparkling it up, doozing it up. And if you like this channel, why don't you just go ahead and like and subscribe. You have nothing to lose. The cost is free. If you don't like my channel later, you can always unsubscribe. There are no losers here except maybe me. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. So we're getting that all sparkled up. Then you're going to rasterize the layer and then duplicate the layer. And then you can hit a multiply or you can hit another blend. The ideal here is to do a double blend for added bling effect. And then now we're going to, um, I have some levels and some curves in here just in case you need them. So you can turn them on and off. But right now I'm just turning on and off the sparkles and you can place these sparkles wherever you want. Um, this is super easy to do. You can you can um, move them individually or you can move them as a group just by control clicking all of them at the same time. Okay, you got to select it to affect it, baby. All right, so we're getting all those little lovely sparkles and the little uh, sparkle dust on there and it's looking so Gucci, baby. Don't forget to lock your layers so you're not you don't move it like I just did and make a mistake because sometimes that happens, we make mistakes. And we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Yes. Almost sounds like an abortion. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that, but I am rude and crude. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm not fit for the public. That's why I don't show my face on here. I am not a normal person. All right, so the next second image, we're going to start uh, painting. You can you can do this any way you like. There are no there's no wrong or right way to do this. You could just paint till your heart's content. You don't have to rasterize it. You could leave it just like like it is. You know, I just, you know, now that I think about that, I should have painted the little Adidas leaf because that would have been even more aesthetic. And I pinched myself right now because I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, and I should have did the lines too. Wow, I missed a whole lot here. But you know what? When you're doing a tutorial, it's really hard to like think because you're just trying to like do an instructional video and not make it so complicated for people. So that's what I was doing. Yeah. So you're just gonna draw sparkles on there. Yeah, 
And no biggie, if you mess up, you just grab the eraser tool and, you know, just erase it off, you know? Now I'm using a hard edge eraser, um, the size like seven, I think. Yeah. And just get that in there. It's a, it gets a little chibi, you know? Chibi! Oh, I didn't mean to move that. <laughs> Wrong layer, bro. I was trying to put sparkles. Yes, we're, we're putting some colored sparkles on there now. That looks fabulous, yes. Yes, queen. All right, put some other fabulous sparkles on there. And my cat just entered the room all creepily. Yeah. And then you just place the sparkles wherever you want. Um, you know, just make it look really cool. And the thing with the sparkles is, is that a lot of the times, like when you brush out a sparkle, it just doesn't look right. So these are already like styled. So you don't have to worry about that. They look really good out the box so you don't have to worry about your sparkles looking dull or not blingy enough all right so now i'm going to save this out because i love it and it's beautiful and now it's mine so i'm going to save it on my desktop and then you can upload it to instagram later um i know i will i think this looks pretty cute what do you guys think yeah all right so Basically, what you can do is once you're done with this, you can click revert. Um, you go to file and revert, and then it takes you back all the way to the beginning, even, even if you saved file so you don't mess up the PSD. I would always make a copy of it. So basically, what we're doing now is we're just basically repeating the process, um, and we're just painting with that same layer that's paint on me, we're using the brush and we're using it to paint over. And right now I'm making some magic sparkles in the hand. And then rasterize that layer and then change the blend mode. So that looks really cool, it looks really puffy. And you can go through the blend modes to see which one looks best for you. Um, there's all different kinds, so. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up so you guys can enjoy the rest of this. Well, I'll just put some music in the background and you'll just watch what I do and follow along. It's very simple. You just drag and drop your photos onto the PSD and then paint with the, the design. And it's that simple, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.